transformation that electronic media has undergone over the past few decades has been nothing short of revolutionary. This transformation can be attributed to advances in technology, changes in consumer behavior and shifts in the media landscape. To better understand this changing landscape, we have with us a media person who has seen electronic media evolve through her eventful journey of more than 25 years. Please welcome Anju Juneja, creator of many path-breaking TV shows and consulting editor with ABP Network. Thanks for inviting me. Uh, welcome Anju. And uh, I thought ki there was no better person to you know throw some light on this evolution of you know uh, electronic media of the past few decades. So let's uh, start by you know asking you how have you seen this changing landscape of uh, media in terms of technology as if, as well as in terms of programming or content over the past few decades. I think that's a very interesting topic and it, people now who are getting into media should at least know about this, how we started our journey. That was, in our eyes, it was very difficult. The things have become very easier now because with this uh, changing technology, things are a little easier to work, easy to make shows. When we, I'll talk about uh, 90 era, 90s, when the uh, we started with the uh, analog. Analog is everything is you have to do it by hand, like you have to machine operate it. The cameras were high band cameras, they were very heavy cameras, and the tapes were very big. All manual, all basically. manual, and editing things were like you need a one separate sound, sound machine, a separate effect machine. And if you're editing that show, you had to first transcribe that show, first write it down because the, you can't do it again and again. So only you have a limited time and you want to edit that show, you have to uh, write it down and decide what you want to edit from where to where and which mm -hmm. shots you have. So all the tapes you have to collect from the library, you have to, if you want a tree in that one of the show, you want tree shot, you need a tape which has a footage of tree mm -hmm. or if you want a uh, shot of uh, Nehru or Gandhiji, you have to put that from a separate tape. So first you have to log all the tapes and keep it in the this thing, this tape has this tape has this thing. And in case anything goes wrong, you have to re-edit that mm. uh, uh, whole show. So it was, this was very difficult and, uh, dif but interesting. Interesting in the sense we were more organized, I think at that time uh, and shooting, the technology, had, when I started, it was low high band, but before that it was low band, which was a big tape and which had, uh, I think you might be remembering that we used to rewind it, it used to make a very unique sound. Yeah. And it used so, to take so much time in rewinding yeah, that. The edit station was, you know, a lookalike of a space station Look, or something like, you know, you, you felt like working in row. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and when we, we used to go for shoot, so there were three, four people with us. One person used to carry that recording machine and one person was to, supposed to do sound, so camera person, it was heavy machines. Now it's all digital, so the cameras are very smaller and uh, you don't need tapes also, you need just chips. So people like us who have started with big tapes, chips is very different for us and con coming to from that era to this era was also difficult for us hmm. because with technology you have to learn everything. Yeah. So learning and unlearning is a big process. So you, uh, sometimes I think, oh, that was better. We used to work very hard, we were more organized. Now the things are, uh, when you're editing on uh, digital machines, you feel like it's wrong, so we can do it again. Mm. Because you just need to insert that uh, mm. uh, video. Mm. So you have all the videos in your machine and you mm. can pick up one video from here and put it here. Mm. You, agar, If you feel that this video, this clip, I want it in the beginning mm -hmm. of my show instead of ending. So I can just pick it up and put it here. But in uh, earlier days, we couldn't do this. We had to re-edit the whole show. Mm -hmm. If just to change one little shot, whole two days and it was done again. So, but you know, very interesting, despite this process getting easier and you know, faster, you said that, you know, you found those early days much more interesting, much which were manual and which were like, very labor intensive. Very, very labor intensive, but we were more, I felt we were more organized because I used to find all my, I used to sit in the library, take out all the shots and write it down. Okay, this tape has this shot, this tape has this shot. So when we were editing, I knew what all I have. Now when I go to the edit table, 
I know the things, but I am okay. Okay, if I do something wrong, I can flip it. So I can change it. Casual, huh? it become more casual, and mm-hmm. everybody's. It's not me. I think everybody around has become a little more. But now the quality is better. When we see all the old TV serials, Ham Log and Buniyad, when this, the quality you see in them, and now you see. And technically, they were not as superior as today's ones. No. So the yeah. quality was uh, now more. Sh- they are more sharper. We used to shoot one thing which is more sharper. If you compare it with something which we uh, did twenty years back, uh, you can correct the colors also. You can do whatever you want in mm. post production. We didn't have these kind of facilities in post production at that time. Tape rewinding used to take so much time. Once we were editing at night in uh, one of the private channels I used to work for, so we were editing. We just me and my editor we rewinded. The, we put the tape on rewind, and we felt. Still sleepy, hmm. so I'm so glad. Because hmm. the tape is not time late. Hmm. After one hour, I got up and I said, "Tape rewind, ho gaya." See, uh. it was a huge 90-minute hmm. tape. It used to take like seven, eight, ten minutes hmm. to rewind. So now you don't have all that stuff, and you yeah. don't have to manage a tape library. Hmm. If I want to take out some some shots, I don't need to go to library and ask the librarian, "Okay, ye wala shot hai kya? Ye visual milega kya?" Now I can sit on my this desk. I can go to that software mm. and I can put what I want. I, if I am looking for Mandal Commission footage, I'll just put Mandal Commission or whatever footage. Some mm. um, 26 January mm. five years back, what happened? I'll put that and I'll get all. It is all exact digitized. Same exact same thing. Short. And mm. I'll find the description also short wise. Mm. Mm. So I just need to take that. I can watch that preview that on my desk only. So it has made the technology has made our life. Faster, faster, easier. Yeah. But in terms of content, huh. has it also helped there also? Of course, it has helped. Now I see it. Early when we used to make shows, if supposing we were making a news show, now we were dependent on people. I wanted something from Kashmir or something from uh, Jaipur. I I was dependent on my reporter to record that and send it to me by tape. The hmm. tape used to come by courier, hmm. which was taking like one day. Some government facilities, see, Doordarshan and all, they had facilities of live, but other private channels never had these facilities. So now I have all the links. People can uplink, and I can take it from London, New York. Mm. I can make a show where I have five reporters, mm. where one is standing in New York, one is standing in London, one is in Jaipur, one it is, mm. one is in Kashmir. All five are connected to me. It is very easier. Yeah, uh, that interactivity part, you know, that also I want to touch upon. Uh, a the look. How the technology has, you know, helped us create a look or change the look or make a look uh, the programs look better in terms of visual appeal, plus the interactivity part. Earlier, like even in a news uh, broadcast, mm-hmm. there were pre-recorded stories mm-hmm. which would play alongside the anchor mm-hmm. whenever the anchor introduces mm-hmm. a story. But right now, there is interactivity so that you know, at a given time, you can talk to like twenty people across the world. So, I mean, how does that change our uh, scenario in terms of? Putting quality into the content. If you remember, there was Doordarshan uh, news when anchor used to sit and just speak. There were no visuals. Mm. Then came the time there were visuals. Then they started. Then again the reporters input. Now I can plan my shows accordingly. I have this show. I am doing this show. I want to shoot it like this. I have. Uh, I can uh, make it reporter interactive. If technology wise, I can shoot it. If I want to take a aerial shot, I don't need a helicopter for that, which was more expensive and not possible. Now I I can just there's a drone, mm-hmm. so I can use drone. If I my reporter is on a bike, he can he has a camera on his helmet or a cap or something. It is you can use GoPro. Mm-hmm. So we could never think of that. Okay, making the program is one part. Let let us touch upon you know broadcasting the program, like you know taking the program to the viewers. That has changed a lot, like the way. Thing would you know be broadcasted earlier and now? So what do you have to say about yes. that? See, when um, I'll talk about uh, the private when the private channels came and we were making news, we just started the first news bulletin in the private channel. There were no teleprompters. We didn't have teleprompters. Government com- channels had teleprompters, but private channels and we used to write down on white paper mm. the script and hold it in front of the. Anchor and keep dropping the pages. Today, Pradhan Mantri Lal Kile Ponche drop one line, another line. So anchor used to read it like that. They were mm-hmm. not right. and the tape. We used to record it on a tape, and tape was being sent to 
the broadcasting the there was a vsnl the vsn from vsnl we used to uplink it to the satellite which we had hired for mm. our channel so tape the if the uh, channel uh, news has to air at 9 pm most of the time tape was being set by at 8:50 because it used to get mm. delayed and there were two riders on the standby on bikes who used to run there was a car following them in case something happens to mm. one rider the second can take if something happens to both the riders there's a car so, so we were james bond out we there we were right? sort of that so half of the time show and the sec- one segment is on air second is still being edited which has been which we have to send it to vsnl to get it uplink we used to hi- hire the satellites when i started uh, working for some other channel in programming with th- these serials always started kyunki saas bhi kabhi bahu thi and kahani ghar ghar ki so we had to hire vsnl time slot in advance that i want to uplink my show at 4:30 pm i used to reach there 4:30 pm live i used to coordinate with vsnl and the hong kong office where the satellite mm. is being managed and we used to uplink it from delhi to hong kong which will be aired at night but i have half an hour to uplink it in case something goes wrong i have to take the slot again book it again now it is not there now you have everything on your channels i am now sending my hearing my shows from the laptop mm. from the computer so this is a drastic change i think i can change my rundown if i have to uh, make a news which has one um uh, city news in the beginning and uh, some animal news second whatever mm. and i want to change that i want to start with the or some important news, news comes in or right? some important news comes in so i can flip the whole thing mm. which is very easier so that was not possible earlier that what i jo humne bana diya tape pe print ho gaya chala gaya mm. ab kahin 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 ladai bhi ho gayi kahin aag bhi lag gayi i cannot change that you will report it later i will report it later okay. that has gone on air ab woh hi chalega jo ban gaya ji ab dobara nahi ban sakta abhi agar ho gaya to usi time rok diya jayega breaking what now you see breaking news every yeah. moment yeah. so things have changed in airing making broadcasting airing everything and now you have everything on youtube mm. on uh, you have everything on mobile you don't need television mm. also you don't need big television set and that also made the consumption behavior uh, change in the consumption behavior as well earlier there was television was for only for 6 baje se raat ko 9 baje tak hmm. now you have 24 hours so you can hmm. watch any time anything anywhere hmm. Hmm. earlier as you mentioned the hmm. uh, footage being you know transported via internet by sharing the links and all okay that is one part of you know internet being helpful hmm. in production of programs but internet uh, internet is playing some other part also which is much more effective for example ott platforms have come up which are kind of internet based applications mm. which you know uh, are there to help you propagate your program or air your program See. so how has this part you know impacted the television industry See, I will. so things have changed drastically for television uh, from people writing to postcards and waiting if you remember we were when in doordarshan eras we were, used to wait when we were kids we used to wait for the shows i had a time table like 8 pm is chitra time mm. 9 pm is news time and we used to study accordingly ki 8 baje to chitra har dekhenge sunday is movie time mm. and this cartoon comes at 6 so now ott platforms give you this opportunity to watch the show whenever you want to watch yeah i think gone are the days when anchor used to say good morning or good night because he doesn't know when are you going to watch this maybe somebody is watching it in the afternoon exactly. and we can't even say ke okay this monday will be bringing this to you because you might be watching on thursday so yeah of course that part is there i mean you can uh, make a program in such a way that it can be watched by anyone any time any time so now when i think now when the producers are making shows they think they know that a my consumer can watch it any time my and it, he doesn't have to switch on television for that the screen has shrunk to mobile so it is he's watching it on the go he's watching it in the car in train wherever he is so he can watch it whenever he wants to watch and show has to become inter- has to be interesting mm-hmm. so that you are glued to that mm-hmm. and this web series and everything which now we were, we don't have to go to cinema halls to wait for, for to watch the movies you have web series you don't have to wait for wait for the serials to uh, for ki hum agle mangalwara 
things changed see things changed gradually the way earlier they used to be if you remember hum log used to come on once a week and mm. buniyad used to come once a week yeah, on a particular on day on a particular day then they started daily serials like yogi sath bhi kabhi bahut hi when the private channels came now you have eight episode series web series 10 episodes there you can watch it in one day if you yeah. want or you can binge watch watching it. is very yeah, popular binge watching is very popular yeah. and especially the young with the youngsters it is very popular but everybody is i think yeah. we are also watching it <laughs> maybe it's yourself <laughs> so things yeah things have changed mm. majorly for that ott is still experimenting where people are still getting to know about it there are still people who are watching television they are we have audience for everything i think so another change which has been brought about by once again i would say is internet or you know this uh, new generation technologies mm-hmm. is the social media space mm-hmm. although it began with things like you know facebook which are supposed to be interactive for the society for the friends or for the you know people but then somehow it has taken the space of the television also since uh, the integration of uh, social media handles happened with the television channels or television program producers so even social media channels or social media platforms has, have invaded into this area so how has that impacted so, uh, integration has helped a lot because you are getting real time feedback of your shows if my show is on air i made one show pradhan mantri it was on air in between that show i got a feedback oh in 1947 there was no telephone like this the you were showing in your show so you know what wrong is going or this actor is very good or this information is right or wrong or and I, mm. real time was where i was getting this show is a hit this episode is a hit or this was wrong with this episode so real time information you are getting people have people have a space to raise the voice or raise their or give their feedback mm. they become part of the they program they are part kind of, of the, they are enjoying it more because they they feel they, they are part of the program uh in secondly there are with the uh, youtube and all now everybody has a platform now you can have your own channel i can have my own channel. i don't have to wait for uh, some big channel to invite me to give my views i have my own channel i can give so there are a lot of bloggers and youtubers you see who are doing very good job who are uh, giving uh, from politics to lifestyle to everything now i don't have to if i want to cook something at home i don't have to wait for khana khazana or show uh, mm-hmm. sanjeev kapoor to come and uh, say ki ye dam aloo aisa banega so i can go and just write mm-hmm. dam aloo and i get i'll get 10 recipes of dam aloo mm-hmm. or i want to see what modi ji said in uh, g20 meeting i haven't seen it in the morning live show i can watch it i can go back and watch it in the afternoon youtube everything is available so this democratization of television if i may say so hasn't it you know kind of produced a challenge for the people like you who are content producer from a particular uh, space which is like you know television channel or a television program production body yes it has it's kind of a competition for it you has do you take it that way and i think it is a good competition it has given us a we were getting more comfortable in our uh, homes in our offices okay we are making very good shows but now i know on show i am making and show one single youtuber is making is of similar quality then i mm. need to do give them something more yeah. why will somebody come to me i have to give them more information or technically it has to look very good so that thing i have to keep in mind mm. that it has to be better than the single mm. youtuber or a smaller channel on youtube this uh, social media thing of course as you rightly said earlier that it has you know kind of put you in a position where you are more conscious about what you are producing but at the same time there is a lot of uh, you know unwarranted stuff happening on social media space so i mean uh, do you uh, think that as a detrimental to the progress of uh, te- television content creation or is there any yes. anything which is impacted negatively producers are also getting affected with this if you see फिल्म्स में जैसे हमें लगता है कि फिल्म्स में हमें कितने सीन्स काटने पड़ने वी हैव टू एडिट दैट बिकॉज वन ग्रुप डजेंट लाइक दैट वन ग्रुप हैज एन ऑब्जेक्शन एंड देर इज वॉइस थ्रू सोशल मीडिया एंड स्प्रेड्स लाइक फायर ओके दिस फिल्म हैज सिमिलरली विद टेलीविजन ऑल्सो दिस इज हैपनिंग पीपल हैव अ प्रॉब्लम विद वन शो दे विल से दिस इन्फॉर्मेशन इज रॉन्ग दिस इज सो प्रोड्यूसर्स द चैनल दे आर ऑल्सो वेल स्केयर्ड सो इट शुड नॉट अफेक्ट माई चैनल रेपुटेशन इट शुड नॉट अफेक्ट माई प्रोड्यूस सो द शो आई वॉज मे आई एम मेकिंग विद बिग um uh, fan for i have worked so many for so many months for that 
I might have to shut down my show within weeks because mm -hmm. the the wrong information or the voices people have raised have reached my channel or my channel owners or my producers. They'll say, "Oh, don't don't do this. This is this is or this can create the, some wrong uh, message to people." So this has affected a lot. So we don't wait for TRPs now. No, normally people used to wait for TRPs. कि हफ्ते में टी आर पी आएगा आप तो रोज रात को पता चल जाता है आपका क्या है तो आप दो दिन में यू स्टार्ट करेंगे ओ दिस इज पीपल आर नॉट लाइकिंग दिस शो यू डोंट इवन वेट फॉर इन वेट फॉर अ वीक कि लोगों का रिएक्शन एक हफ्ता देखो दो हफ्ता देखो लेट्स सी बट विद इन टू डेज यू डिसाइड दिस इज नॉट अ गुड शो दिस इज नॉट हैपनिंग बिकॉज पीपल आर नॉट लाइकिंग इट वी कैन सेफली से दैट एट वन एंड टेक्नोलॉजी हैज मेड अ लाइफ बेटर but at the other end it has made our life difficult also very difficult i will say very difficult because i am so now i i am also very conscious what the moment my show is on air i am reading the, all the comments on youtube what everybody is saying oh ye to anchor is bad and mm. how the anchor is dressed up how her hair is look, mm. looking uh, the way she is speaking so and the anchors are also very conscious with their uh, image because the image If they are portraying an image on the uh, YouTube mm. or Facebook or Twitter or other whatever social mm. sites, what a, what people write becomes their image. So we have seen this change happening in terms of technology, in terms of pro program creation, in terms of consumer behavior, and we have come from one end to the other. So it has been a very you know drastic change. Now, where do you see this change you know taking you in the future? I mean, where do you see this uh, change of technology and change of landscape if we talk about 5 year 10 years down the line or maybe 20 years down the line see few years back when internet television came we used to hear these stories okay ab tv khatam hone wala hai tv to band ho jayega there's no uh, tv ka life nahi hai but tv is still there i feel yeah, yeah it has reduced because people have more options now people have more option to watch whatever they want so it ha tv will i think television will also remain there but we will have more options we will have more uh, kind of channels to watch channels in the sense more kind of uh, technologically you have mobile or you have ott platforms more platforms to watch mm -hmm. whatever and it will give you everybody a choice to watch whatever they want to watch so you have more you have more things on your menu mm -hmm. you more options on your menu but we saying that with that i'll say that it gives a more challenging uh, which is very challenging for people like us who are making uh, programs for television we have to make ourselves much better that people watch our show they come back to us mm -hmm. otherwise they won't yes tv will tv will finish television will finish if we don't improve ourselves so we have to improve ourselves and i think everybody there will be space for television there will be space for ott there will be space for sing, um, uh, youtubers also if you mm. there will be space for everybody and the ones who are good and better will survive the, that will survive otherwise, i think survive yeah. wo hota hai na ki sir fit survival of the fittest yeah. the fittest will survive mm. those who doesn't don't keep it up with the times and they mm. will extinct mm. so mobile television and ott platforms and all these will work out together and they are, they will also they should also they have mm. given lot of employment also i would say mm. this com industry yeah. has grown so much mm. so the this is going to make things better for us so all in all this change has been for good over yeah. the past few decades or years and uh, as per your expectation the further whatever change comes up will also be you know uh, the betterment on top of that yes perfect so okay so that was your thought and uh, i'm very thankful that you came today and shared your thought on this evolution that's happening in the television industry and thank you so much for joining us okay. we'll sure be benefited by your insights thank you thank so you. much thank you for inviting me